have I not said pride goes before destruction a haughty spirit before a fall the entrance of 2018 will set the stage in 5779 for the arrogant to be covered with shame They shall be all adorned with the colors of dread. Inquire among the nations who has heard anything like this. I will kindle an unquenchable fire upon the proud of the earth and devise a plan against them. I will bring on them the day of disaster. I will consume their fortresses and houses, for I will deal with them in the time of my anger. 5779 shall be the year when I, the Lord God Almighty, will set ablaze many mountains of the earth. Corrupt leaders and all their thrones shall be shaken and torn into pieces. A cry has already been heard. Listen and you will hear what the accusers are saying. They are proud liars, full of greed and perversion, unable to change their ways. Like a wind from the east, I will scatter them and drive them away from the peoples. My wrath will break out and burn like fire because of the evil they have done. Surely these leaders have become an object of lasting scorn. All who pass their palaces will be appalled and shake their heads, for I will punish them as their deeds deserve. The fall of the kings has begun in every sector of society especially in government, businesses, and organizations. They all shall be exposed, humiliated, and driven away. Do not weep for the kings who are no more, or mourn their loss. Rather, weep for the needy, the aliens, and the people they have violated and exploited. They overtax the poor and the middle class, to enrich their friends. Did the people make them kings to satisfy their ego and be abused by them? They have not defended the cause of the unfortunate, nor did they empathize to their sufferings. From their youth, their eyes and hearts were set on dishonest gain and theft, on sex and immorality, on greed and covetousness, on oppression and extortion. They will be ashamed and disgraced because of all their wickedness, for the permissible shall become unacceptable. It will be a total rejection in America. The people will rise, march, and protest against corruption and disabuse of power. Many government leaders will go to jail or resign in disgrace. You will see also the women movement springboarding the condemnation of sexual harassment. Many prominent and powerful men will be found out harnessing this dark violation of women, especially in the workplace. Top of them, said the Lord, let their secrets be exposed. Humiliate them. It will be their turn to cry. This fatal blow will cause some of them to commit suicide or sleep early in their grave. The breakdown decade will continue to a total collapse of societal order. People will become lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boastful, proud, abusive, disobedient, ungrateful, unholy, without love, 
unforgiving, slanderers, without self-control, brutal, not lovers of the good, treacherous, rash, conceited, lovers of pleasures, rather than lovers of God, having a form of godliness, but denying its power. We will see in full force the insubordination of children, the division between husbands and wives, the family structure as we know it shall be destroyed. People will find many excuses not to marry anymore. Divorce will be on the rise because of the worship of individualism. The normal will yield to the abnormal, the moral to the immoral. Many unacceptable behaviors shall become the norm, such as adultery, fornication, so sexual perversion, covetousness, greed, extortion, oppression, and thievery. Abomination will eclipse wickedness. The, the LGBTQ agenda will enter even the political arena. You will even, you will even see some of their members in our office, especially in the United States. Will the U.S. go to war? That was the question that I asked my God. And this is his answer. If you choose to go to war, another avoidable war to satisfy your ego, this is what God, the sovereign Lord said, Take from my hand this cup filled with the wine of my wrath and make all the proud nations drink it. When they drink it, they will all stagger and go mad because of the sword I will send among them. I know this in Washington, D.C. and proclaim it in all the states. Take your positions and get ready for the sword will devour those around you. The whole world will hear of your shame. Your cry will fill the earth. One warrior will stumble over another. Both will fall together. Why will your warriors be laid low? They cannot stand, for the Lord will push them down. They will stumble repeatedly. They will fall over each other. A new alliance has already been formed in secret against you. Many of your friends will desert you in the time of your need. Your pride will bring you to your destruction. Prepare the bunkers. Hide your people in the caves. A surprise attack will humble you to the dust. Like the rain, your enemy will drop bombs on your head. That day belongs to the Lord, the Lord Almighty. A day of vengeance for vengeance on his foes. The sword will devour you till it is satisfied, till it has quenched its thirst with blood. For the sovereign Lord will offer sacrifice in the land of America. In one day, all the wealth of, wealth of this nation will come to naught. Where is your pride? Where is your prejudice? Where is your racism? The swift cannot flee, nor the strong escape. Terror, terror will be on every street. You will hear of terrorist attack, sudden aggression and hostility, for your enemy has his allied living among your people. A call for unity will be heard, one for all and all for one. Let us stay united. One state is in trouble, all the states are in trouble. Together we must stand to defend the land. The color of your skin and the size of your pocketbook will no longer relieve it. A wave of fear has swept over the earth. The battlefield is full of blood. Each allied must lift up its own weight. The face-off of the two alliances will escalate and two powerful nations will enter a, pow a power struggle. Another war an avoidable war is now in full swing. America has abandoned the course of, this, of diplomacy just to showcase its power. The influence of the United States 
will diminish greatly and you will see the emergence of Russia in world affairs followed closely with China. The casualties cannot be numbered on both sides. The battle shall be too intense. Fear has, invite, has invaded even the rank of the strong. The stock market will crash and send great panic in the financial sector. Massive sell-off will devalue the dollar. This disaster will be worse than the last recession. Many investors will seek to park their cash outside of the United States. The middle class and the poor will suffer greatly. There is no part in America that will not be affected. Every state of the, the Union will feel the pressure to protect its population. Many businesses and organizations won't be able to open their doors because of the insecurity. I saw a woman crying because of the lack of food, and a young man seemed helpless, unable to provide safety for his family. Amid of all the turmoil, there come the natural disasters. An earthquake will bring another massive loss of lives in America. There will be blizzards in the winter, also fire, floods, tornado, and hurricanes upon the land in the summer. God's judgment is on, our, is on your shore. Who can stay his end? Where are your so-called apostles? Where are your false prophets? As for the people, so are for the priests. They will all cower in fear with no one to rescue. They will call, and I will not answer them. Do not go out to the field or walk on the road, for the enemy has a sword. There will be calamity and war on every state of the Union. Look and see the working, the working, the working dead, the working dead. They all are riddled with withdrawal, sickness, and diseases. The worm of addiction is eating their minds and bodies. Every family has a story of an addicted son or daughter. The plague of addiction has infiltrated every level of society. How long will you lie there, you sluggard? When will you get up from your sleep? They are all addicted to drugs, intensely focused in getting their next fix. They have become beggars and prostitutes just to su supply themselves with more. Where are the priests? How can they cast out the foul spirit of addiction when they are themselves? addicted. If not on drugs, the religious leaders are addicted to their own power. Churches, chapels, synagogues, and mosques have become like brazen prostitutes, quick to promote evil and defend corrupt government officials in their states. For many, they have sold themselves to the devil. For this reason, we will see the emergence of a generation with no spiritual defense against the devil. You are abased by your self-indulgence. When will you, you learn to obey? When will you learn to say no to your impulses? When will you learn self-control? My spirit has departed from your lives. You are all become the host of demons what to do evil, ignoring what is good. Put on sackcloth and roll in ashes. Mourn with bitter wailing. Your calamity is a tester of metal, and you, my people, are the only, that you may observe and test your ways. In the pulpit and in the pew, you are all hardened rebels going about your own way. In society, and in government, you are all oppressors going about robbing your neighbors. You are bronze and iron. You all acted corruptly. The bellows blow fiercely to burn away the lead with fire.
but the refining goes on in vain. The wicked are not purged. You are called, rejected silver, because the Lord has rejected you. <clears throat> this is what the Lord Almighty says. Reform your ways and actions, and I will let you live in this place. Do not trust in deceptive words. Stop choosing unqualified leaders who will oppress the poor, the alien, the fatherless, and the widow. Do not call the scoundrels nobles. You have gone your own way and forsake the way of truth. Now deal each with each other justly. Do not shed innocent blood in this place. Maybe the Lord will have compassion on you. He has given full vent of his wrath. He has poured out his fierce anger. Repent, 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 America. Otherwise, the sovereign Lord will kindle a fire in this place that will consume its very foundations, said the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.